Guys, Hale Scott here. Welcome to another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Wyndham Weaponry AR-15. Um, overall impressions of this gun, it's a great firearm. Um, I've put only maybe six, seven, maybe eight hundred rounds through it. Flawless. Not one hiccup, not one jam, nothing. Super accurate right out of the box. Um, I love this gun. Um, if I had to pick a rifle... It would probably be this one only because um, I like the overall system of this firearm. Um, it doesn't have a lot of kick. Um, it's super accurate. Um, magazine capacity, you know, you can get a 100 round drum if you wanted to. Anyways, it's just an overall, I think, superior. Um, platform to start with um, than most. So start at the front, just a standard A2 bird cage. Um, if you're gonna shoot, you might as well hide your muzzle flash. So that's why. I just I, there's nothing wrong with it to me. I don't need to see um, have a different muzzle device on there just to be cool or whatever. Uh, I like the standard A2 bird cage. Um, M4 profile. Um, this isn't a mil spec rifle. Everybody keeps everybody throws that term around mil spec like it's better than everything else. Um, mil spec is just the standard which the military makes their rifles. Um, they give the specifications and Colt makes them to that um, spec. So um, it does have a one and nine twist barrel, which is fine for usually anything 52 to 69 grain. Um, I find real good. Um, it's got the bayonet lug. I got the front gas block. Um, I didn't get the A post front sight. Um, if I were to change things up around, I would get it this time. I think about this rifle in 2011, late 2011, early 2012. So um, Wyndham was just new. Um, they're the old Bushmaster people, and they make a great weapon. Um, coming forward, I got the bad lever, battery assist device, which really makes it easy to. Uh, drop your bolt carrier group quickly. Um, this rifle is unloaded. Nothing in the mag. Um, nothing in the chamber. Um, we'll just <laughs> drop it down. Put it in there. Um, I got the enhanced trigger guard so you can shoot in there with gloves. Um, the Mo grip and then the same thing with the buttstock. Um, couple things that aren't mil spec it is also a full auto bolt carrier group in there so it's not the cheapened version or anything it's it still works great um the buffer tube on this guy it is not staked and it also is not mil spec it's commercial tube um i'm not too picky about that it doesn't bother me that it's commercial um it's ran fine i haven't had zero problems with it so it's not high on my list to change it out. Some people say, oh, well, if you need to butt stroke it or whatever. You know, I have confidence in this one. Um, I don't think this would break. Um, the only thing I would probably do is stake the um, thing. Mine has not come loose. Like I said, I'm about six, 700 rounds. No problems whatsoever. Um, standard fire controls. It's not, it doesn't have much oil on it right now. I don't know why. I should have greased it up a little bit. Um, other side does come with the dust cover and forward assists, um, which most rifles do not um, nowadays. They like the slick side. I mean, they do, but you can also get them slick side. That'll save you some money. Um, on this firearm, I have the Bushnell TR-32 red dot, which I'll try and get you... Oh, it's already on. So there you go. Um, there's a red dot. You can make it dimmer or off and, you know, obviously super bright. Whoa, where are we at here? So there we are. Um, this has zeroed for me. It stayed good. Um, I have no gripes with this red dot at all. For 100 bucks, well worth the money. Comes with covers, has elevation and, and windage. Um, but I also have the canted sights on there. Um, just in case, obviously, your red dot fails, you can turn your rifle and you got the canted sights. Um, these are aluminum, so they're fairly robust. Um, they're fairly big. Um, the front one isn't too terribly bad, but that back one is kind of gaudy. Um, it works though. I cannot complain. Um, this thing has been dead accurate right out of the box. It's a dual aperture. Um, canted. 
so you can really get in there for precise shots. Um, overall impression is this weapon, I believe, is probably one of the better AR-15s you can buy on the market that's already built for you. Um, like I said, a whole bunch of rounds through it, not one issue at all. Um, the delta ring is nice and easy. You can um, pop it off, pull off the hand guards. Super simple. Um, I got these Picatinny rails on there, even though I don't use them. Probably could get away with taking them off, but I just haven't. So other than that, um, I highly recommend this weapon. Um, if you have a chance to buy one, I think I paid. I, I think I want to say I paid seven ninety nine for this back in, um, like I said, late late twenty eleven or early twenty twelve. I want to say it's more early twenty twelve. But for that, you just you cannot um, you cannot beat it. Uh, so if you have any questions, comments, um, hope you liked the video, like and subscribe. Uh, once again, Hail Scott out.